Welcome to another Camtasia Quick Tip. I'm Rob Moore. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your favorites tab with the 10 best tools and effects I use every single day when editing video tutorials for my clients. So let's jump into Camtasia. As you can see, I'm already on the favorites tab here and it's currently empty. I removed the favorites I had set up just for the purposes of this video and now we're going to add them back in. So let's add them back in one at a time. First, click the annotations tab here. And then at the top, click on the callouts tab. In here, I want to add a text tool. So let's select this one here and click the star in the top right corner to add it to your favorites. By doing so, let's just go back to the favorites tab. This text box has been added. So now from here, we can easily drag that down to our project if we want to. Okay, so once we've got the text added, the next one I want to go to is the shapes tab at the top. And in here, there are two things I want to add. I want to add this blue rectangle shape. This is the one that does not have rounded edges. And if we scroll down further, I want to add this circle shape here. Okay, and now next, let's click over to the special tab. And in here, I want to add the blur effect. And I want to add the spotlight effect as well. Next, let's click the sketch motion tab. And in here, I want to add this rectangle shape and I want to add the circle shape. I often use these in my video tutorials to highlight certain areas. And that's it for annotations. As you can see, so far we've got these seven tools added. Now let's move on to transitions. In here, there's only two that I want to add and I'm going to scroll down. These are listed alphabetically. I want to scroll down to F right here. And I'm going to add the fade transition and the fade through black transition. I use both of those quite often. Next, let's move on to animations. Click the animations tab. In here, there's only one I want to add and that's custom. I build all my animations using this custom tool. Now let's move on down to visual effects. And in this tab, we're gonna to scroll to the bottom and here where it says remove a color, I'm going to add that to my favorites as well. So now if we go back up to the favorites tab, you can see it's populated with all these tools and effects that I've just added. And these are the tools I use most often in my video tutorial projects for myself and for my clients. As far as how to use these tools, I'll cover that in a future video. So that's it for now. Be sure to subscribe for more Camtasia quick tips and I'll see you in the next video.